Hello everyone. Welcome to Genesis Institute of Life Science and this is me Zeba Pros and again I'm here in front of you all with the new unit which is animal physiology. So here I'm going to tell you that uh, which kind of portion you will learn over here in animal physiology and which is most important regarding to the CSIR exam. I will tell you every intro means everything in this introductory video. Okay, so let's start. Let's say before initiating this, I want to tell you one thing that this animal physiology is going to cover many more unit also such as immunology, such as cell bio, such as developmental bio. So different, different biochemistry, different, different kind of portion it is going to be, you know, touch. So here I will also tell you that which portion you will get in which kind of paper. I'm going to start it. So blood circulation. What is blood circulation? Simply in blood circulation, you will have to learn about the blood corpuscles, hemopoiesis and form element you will learn in immunology. Okay. Plasma function, blood volume, blood volume regulation you will learn in animal physio. But blood groups, hemoglobin you will learn in biochemistry okay immunity hemostasis you will learn in immunology understood so what you are seeing over here that in our animal physiology you are also going to learn a some little bit portion of biochem and little bit portion of immunology so here i am not gonna touch all these blood groups and hemoglobin and immunity and hemostasis portion why because you will also learn the deep and detailed study in immunology and biochemistry unit of yours now the next is cardiovascular system what is cardiovascular system and what we will learn over here in cardiovascular system we are going to start from the comparative anatomy of heart structure what is comparative anatomy of heart structure is basically like you are going to uh, you are going to know that which kind of species are going to have which kind of heart now the question is which kind of heart ma'am so which kind of heart simply like two chambered heart three chambered heart four chambered heart five chambered heart <laughs> okay you will learn here and you will come to know that which species are going to have how many chambered heart over here by the study of their anatomy okay now the next you will learn myogenic heart you will learn specialized tissue and the most important is ecg electrocardiogram okay you will see if you will see your previous year paper now you will find maximum question based on ECG maximum question they ask about depolarization repolarization they ask that Q wave what is Q wave what is R wave what is S wave what is P wave they ask this which wave is going to do depolarization which going is which wave is going to do or show repolarization auricle is going to be depolarized or ventricle is going to be repolarized such a kind of question they will ask okay so when we will study about heart we will study about ecg we will come to know and do detailed study of this also and then we will come to know about the cardiac cycle what is cardiac cycle that means simply from the one heartbeat to the next heartbeat means beginning of one heartbeat to the beginning of next heartbeat the cycle completes is known as cardiac cycle simply so when we will do detailed study in animal physio when we will start we will come to know what is heart as a pump okay so heart as a pump that means the pumping of blood from heart how it is going to be circulate to the body okay and blood pressure what is blood pressure like the pressure by which the blood flows in blood vessels the circulatory blood you may say simply and you will also learn that it works against the wall or it works in a favor of walls so you will learn over here and you will get the difference that is they are are they working against the wall 
okay and then again the regulation of all these things on the basis of neural and chemical one thing i want to tell you that the neural and chemical regulation you're going to learn in every system like if it is excretory system so there also you will learn the neural and chemical regulation it is digestive system then also it is the nervous system then also you will learn so this regulation is very important means uh, it is going to be you know you will study again and again again and again here so next is this so in next portion what you are going to study you are going to study about the respi wait a second respiratory system so respiratory system what we will study firstly we will come to know what is respiration okay and then after we will come to know that uh, comparison of respiration in different species is comparison of respiration what does it mean it simply means that the species which use different kind of uh, tissues for the respiration like some use gills some use their skin some use lungs so they use different different you know tissues for respiration and how the process occurs you will study comparatively okay and then you will study about the anatomical consideration of such things transport of gases transport of gases like basically you will come to know that if we are inhaling oxygen so how we are going to circulate it into the body and how it will reach to the tissue you will come to know and also you will come to know you will also study this portion in biochemistry when you will learn that the hemoglobin binds to the oxygen so the process is going to be relate okay the exchange of gases you are going to learn and the ex with the exchanges you will learn the sequence also that in which sequence we are inhaling the gases and when sequence we are going to exhaling it and also you will learn the types of respiration types of respiration simply i'm i must want to tell you that internal respiration and external respiration external respiration comes in a category a category of breathing you may simply say it also known as a breathing breathing includes inspiration and expiration and internal respiration is a kind of cellular respiration okay so when we will study this respiratory system we cover all such things together and now again as i have told you previously that the neural and chemical regulation will have to study everywhere so here also you will study the neural and chemical regulation of this respiratory system now next portion is nervous system what is nervous system you will firstly uh, know okay and in nervous system you will know that what are neurons and how it works and what is action potential so i must want to tell you that action potential i'm not going to touch over here why because it is also a part of cell bio okay so you will learn it into the cell bio and so i'm lefting here and then gross neural anatomy of brain and spinal cord you will learn you will learn about central and peripheral nervous system neural control of muscle tone and posture basically you will also learn about uh, chemistry and you will learn about the connective nerve you will learn about the ganglion uh, simply you will have to know visceral ganglia what is vis what are the visceral ganglia what are the cerebral ganglia how they work okay and whom we say chemistry whom we say connective nerve okay so we will study when in detail we will come to know okay the next which i want to tell you is this like sense organ okay so in a sense organ you know that the eye for the vision we use eye na hearing for we use ear no so we will do this study of their structure the, what is the structure of eye what is the structure of uh, ear we will study over here and we will study the nerves which is going to be work for this sense organs okay sensory nerves we will study over here also and the most important portion is excretory system okay most question like if you will see your previous year paper you will find maximum question from this 
topic particular topic excretion they ask many question related to the absorption related to excretion related to blood pressure blood volume they ask several question what they want to ask okay so we will cover it with very detailed study okay so comparative physiology of excretion means simply that the how different different species do excretion we will study ureotelic ureotelic we will study over here okay the structure of kidney also we will have to study if we are going to learn the excretory system okay so urine formation we will study we will study about urine concentration waste elimination and regulation of water balance and blood volume blood pressure electrolyte balance acid base balance as i have told you that they ask the question from the different different cycle they ask the question from the blood volume they ask the question from the blood pressure they ask the question from the electrolyte balance so it covers maximum portion this is the most important regarding to your csir i must say okay so next is the stress and adaptation like in a stress and adaptation condition which kind of hormone is going to be activated and which kind of uh, you know changes we adopt we will study here in a stress and adaptation portion and thermal uh, thermoregulation so thermo term is saying na temperature and i have told you in ecology portion also thermo term is re related to the temperature you will learn uh, here uh, related to body temperature you will learn that what are the ectotherm what are the endotherm the animals which comes in both category ectotherm as well as in endothermal category you will learn over here and again the regulation of such a kind of temperature or thermal regulation by the neural activity or by the chemical activity you will learn over here and accumulatization okay you will learn next digestive system in digestive system what you will have to learn and again i must say that this is very important topic regarding to your csir they ask many question so firstly you will learn that what is digestion and next you will have to learn that which enzyme is going to digest which kind of Uh, molecule okay so which enzyme is uh, important for the digestion of sugar or carbohydrate which enzyme is very uh, important to digest amino acids which enzyme is very important to digest proteins like you will learn many things okay and related to the absorption you will learn definitely like how we absorb the glucose how we absorb the fructose so they ask the question from the absorption this is the most important means if for digestion if we i will divide now so i must say that the absorption portion is quite important energy balance and dmr we will learn and now the last one is endocrinology and reproduction so what is in endocrinology what we will learn now in endocrinology you will learn about the endocrine glands so what are the endocrine glands simply you all know i think so that the ductless glands are known as endocrine glands okay and the endocrine system contain how much glands or how many glands so you will have to know that the eight in female and eight in male okay next basic mechanism of hormone action basic mechanism of hormone action that means the like insulin is it is a hormone no? how it works okay how it regulate how it control our body and why it is important so we will learn over here okay so endocrine glands means i have told you now that eight glands are over here if we will separate male and female so uh, like pineal gland pancreas ovary okay so these kind of the pituitary gland hypothalamus adrenal glands we will study in detail i'm just only giving a kind of very short introduction to you that to be very friendly to the topic okay next hormones and their diseases what what is hormone and their diseases hormones and their diseases is simply mean is simply means hypoactivation and hyperactivation or in simple terms i must say that the hyper expression and hypo expression of any hormone and if any hormone is uh, hyper expressed which kind of disease is, is going to be happened over there and if any hormone is hypo expressed so which kind of disease is going to be happen over there you will find and as i have told you previously that it is also going to be cover another portions of another unit so reproductive process 
hematogenesis ovulation is a portion of which unit okay i think so you guys are guessing that the portion of development okay development so you will learn all these things in a development so here i will not touch it neuroendocrine regulation i will teach you so simply if we talk that what all overall what we are going to study in animal physio is only excretion is only digestion is about cardiovascular system and about the plasma function blood volume blood pressure okay we will learn in detail and little bit we will learn about the sensory organ and also the thermal regulation okay so thanks for watching and i think so you guys have got the topic and you became quite much friendly to the topic so when we will start the topic we will do the study and till then enjoy our apna study se connected rahiye thank you so much